Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about the binary storage and registers. First let us see what is a register. A register is a collection of flip flops. It is also called as binary cells. Okay, So each flip flop can store a single bit. So as the number of data or the number of bits is more, we need more flip flops to store the data. So a flip flop is used to store single bit digital data for storing a large number of bits the storage capacity is increased by grouping more than one flip flops that means we can group more flip flops to store more number of bits. The number of cells determine the length of the register. For example, you say the register is 16 bit or 8 bit or 32 bit that means those registers can hold 8 bit values or 16 bit values or 32 bit values. Thus, a n bit register contains n flip flops and can store n bits. And we can have 2 power n combination of values. That means if we are having 3 bits, we can have 2 power 3, 8 values, which is 0 to 7. Let us see in the next classes how the conversion can take place from binary value to decimal value to binary values. This is the diagram of the register. It is an 8-bit register where the value stored here is 1001000. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is one example of the storage register where the storage register can store 8 bits. Accordingly, the based upon the number of bits, the register will have 16 cells or 32 cells or so on. So each block is called as a cell. Let us see what are all the operations the registers can help to perform. The register is used to perform different types of operations. For performing the operations, the CPU register, the CPU are use these registers. That means a central processing unit can access these registers to perform any arithmetic or mathematical calculation. The result returned by the system will store in the register. So once the uh, the register contains the data, input or got from the data and then the CPU performs the data and the result is passed back to the register. So, registers can hold the input or the output data. These are all the following operations which are performed by the registers. So, registers can do the fetch, the decode and the execute operation. So, what is the fetch operation? The fetch as, the, as it means it brings the data from registers which is given by the users. So it is based upon the instruction given by the user, this fetch operation fetch the data or bring the data from the registers and then to fetch the instruction stored into the main memory. It also helps to store the data into the main memory because only it is stored in the main memory only the operations can be performed. So this fetch operation helps to bring the data to and forth. Next is the decode operation. So decode as it means it converts the high level language into the low level language. That means it interprets the value given by the instruction which is input by the user. The decode operation is used to interpret the instruction. Interpret means translating the instruction. We know that the instruction has to be translated from high level language to low level language. Then only the system can perform the operations because the system can understand only machine level language. In decode, the operation performed on the instructions is identified by the CPU. So the CPU can detect the meaning of the instruction which is converted from the high level language to the low level language which is the machine language so we know that machine language is zeros and ones string of zeros and ones in simple words the decode operation is used to decode the instructions next is the execute instruction so this really performs the operation so the data or the instruction are bring by the fetch operation and it is converted or translated into machine language by the decode operation and finally the operation has to be performed that is the execute operation so the execution operation is used to store the result produced by the cpu into the memory after storing the result it is displayed on the screen so when suppose uh, the user asks to display the data on the screen or sometimes the user will ask to store the data in the register so accordingly the register 
will have the output value and it may display the result on the screen using the instruction as instructed by the user or the programmer now let us see this fetch decode execute cycle this is the diagram showing how the fetch decode execute works so this is the control unit on the top and registers are the storage cells which carries data and ram is the random access memory which really get in touch with the cpu to perform the operations and aol is the arithmetic logical unit so how the cycle goes from the registers the input instruction it may be data or the instructions for the system it is fetched by the by the to the registers so the values are stored into the registers and then is then cycle operation and once the instructions are fetched from the memory it is decoded and after decoded the control signal passes what action has to be taken by the cpu accordingly the instructions are executed that means the instructions are performed for example if you give the instruction as c is equal to a plus b now a and b are the two values which is stored as the registers now the system has to get the value from the registers that is the fetch operation and then once the operation is fetched system has to understand what has to be done so it reads as a plus b that means it has to add a and b so that is the decode operation it understands that it has to do the addition between the two operands and once it understood the value it will really do the process that is the execute so once it's execute the answer c is equal to a plus b the answer is stored in the c register and that is can be read by the user using the display statement on the screen so that's all the fetch decode execute cycle so these cycles always execute inside the cpu inside the system to do any operation instructed by the user let us see this diagram how the transfer of information takes place in the registers so registers are the locations where the data can be stored so you can see the diagram input unit processing unit and the memory unit so the input unit are the registers where we have the the values keyboard the user in type the values j o h and john as a keyboard value and it is passed to the control unit the control unit understand the value of j o h and n by the ascii characters and it passes the 8 bit values for each letter typed by the user and that is passed to the processing unit so all the con all the values of j o h n we know that alphabets are mentioned by the alpha numeric characters which is the ascii code american standard code for information interchange so for this uh, the values input by the user is converted into the corresponding bit values and it is processed and it is stored in the processor register and we can see in the memory unit how it is uh, uh, stored okay so now can see here 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 see that n as given as double one double zero triple one zero likewise n has some value these are all the ascii values so this is how the value was are stored in the memory register let us see the next diagram of how the information is processed in the registers we are having here this block diagram mentions the operation of uh, addition of two values operand 1 and operand 2 so in the memory we are having operand 1 as 8 bit values or 10 bit values according to the instruction or the memory or the register size so operand 2 is also there now operand 1 is pushed to register r r 2 and operand 2 is pushed to register r 1 so between the two registers the digital logical circuit helps to make the addition between the two operands so once the operands perform the is performed by the operators so naturally the value is stored in the register r3 and that r3 is now stored back to the memory unit so this is how the binary information is fetched from the register does the process and stored back to the memory registers so this is one example diagram that shows the binary information processing so these are all the concepts about how the registers are used to, to store the data transfer the data and also and also the processing of the data hope it is easy to follow and thanks for watching